Well, it was just under a year ago, May of 2020, when the Mid-American Conference announced the elimination of eight different conference tournaments, including both baseball and softball. So this spring, the regular season games matter even more. The last MAC softball tournament, of course, was won by the Toledo Rockets in 2019. UT currently in third place in the MAC behind league unbeaten's Ball State in Miami. Rockets homestand against Ohio concluding with a doubleheader today. Game one tied at one in the fifth. Toledo with two on for Anna Dixon. Slices the fly ball down the left field line. Bobcats outfielder can't make the catch. Falls in. Lexi X-Men and Lily Byers score. Toledo puts up four in the fifth inning. In the seventh, Toledo one out away from victory. Runner on 4-3 game. Katie Yon, the grounder, gets into right. Allie Englett scores. Ties the game. We are headed to extra innings. In the ninth, still tied 4-4. Liam Munson changes all that with one swing of the bat. Solo home run, a walk-off home run as the Rockets win game one 5-4. Munson at two for four with a pair of RBI in their dramatic win. So the Rockets and Bobcats trying to beat the rain and each other in game two. Second inning, Toledo down one, two on for Raquel Emery. Base it into center field. That's going to drive in Aliyah Mara and Raylan Nyrene, home team with the lead. And then the long balls start flying at Scott Park. In the third, Dana Denner. No doubt about it, her 12th dinger of the season. Third baseman goes three for three on the game. In the fourth inning, two on for the Rockets as the long balls continue. This time it's Nyron powering one over the left field fence. A three run blast as UT wins 9-1 in five. Sweeping the doubleheader, taking three of four on the weekend set. Mason Lowry and Steve Ronkowitz join us now. Well, Toledo's doubleheader sweep of Ohio today, really all about some unlikely heroes in game one. Leah Munson, not known for being a home run hitter, but a walk-off bomb to make it 5-4 in the ninth. And then in game number two, really all about some forgotten veterans, players that don't get a whole lot of time, who really made Ohio pay. Talking about Raquel Emery, a big two-run double, and then Raylan Nyreen, her third home run of the year, and that really opened up that game. Well, it was nice to see Emery get a base hit, put the Toledo Rockets in the lead in this game. They never relinquished that lead after that, but they were able to add on the big bomb especially by Nyreen, got it over the fence, three-run bomb for her. Nice to see the bottom of the order really coming through. And that's really kind of one of the things that Toledo was able to do throughout all four games of this series. The bottom of the order produced for them, had big bombs by Denner as well. A couple of home runs for her, but you know what? It was the bottom of the order that really made the difference in this. And when you get production out of the bottom of the order, that's going to lead to wins throughout the season. You get production from a pitcher other than Aaron Hunt, too. You have to <laughs> like that. So upstep McKenna. Durio, a transfer from Wright State in game number two, threw an absolute jam over five innings. And if she can be consistent with that, provide a nice counterpoint to Aaron Hunt, this becomes an even more dangerous team than it already is. You know, Durio did a great job of moving the ball in and out, up and down. She changed speeds well. But the big thing for her was she was able to get ahead in count. She threw strike one. What's her best pitch? strike one and if she can continue to do that she is indeed going to be that second starter that they need so badly it's the first time you and i have seen a toledo softball team in about two years now what are your takeaways from this weekend i really like what i've seen so far they have production up and down the lineup we talked about that the bottom part of the lineup able to produce runs and if you can do that you've got hitters up and down you need to find that second pitcher and that's what it's going to take it's going to be tough because you look at ball state sitting on top they have not lost a game yet and with no tournament you know you've got to win every game you know it's nice to win three out of four but you're in a position right now you have to win four out of four every weekend nice series win for Toledo over Ohio back to you